Hi, welcome to the Jansen Art Studio. I'm David Jansen, and for the next 30 minutes or so, what I want to do is show you a little introduction into the painted simply, what we call the fusion flower techniques. I'm going to be using a uh, flat brush this time. Some of the other videos you see me use the uh, fusion uh, filbert, but I'm going to use the flat brush this time. This is going to be an introductory video, uh, video for the painted simply program. If you're interested in learning how to do uh, painted simply, we have over 350 very detailed step-by-step -step lessons that that teach you how to paint like this. We use only six colors. This is the six colors that I use. Uh, these are the Heritage Multimedia Acrylics. This is a new generation acrylics that uh, has only been out for five years. You can slow the drying time of these acrylics down several hours. So I'll be painting with it with about a four hour drying time, even though uh, I'm only gonna take about 30 minutes or so to paint this. But uh, you can control the drying time of the paint very easy. There's a lot of these techniques. This does technique does not work with regular bottled acrylics. I have painted with all different kinds of brands of acrylics for over 30 years. I've developed several types of brands of acrylics. This uh, particular techniques that I've designed here are designed for these uh, heritage and you only need six colors and you only need two brushes. I'm going to paint this painting today with two brushes. Uh, they're both uh, a very soft brush. These are the fusion brush. This is a three quarter inch and a number six flat. And uh, they're a fusion hair. It's a softer hair. It's not quite, we don't really classify it as a synthetic. It's right between a synthetic and a squirrel hair. It's very, very soft. And it's designed to do this. Uh, you know, if you're going to try to do this with other kind of products, other kind of brushes, you're just going to waste your time. These techniques are designed specifically for that. If you want to go paint with others, I have lots of other lessons and other ones. But this one is fun to do. The Painted Simply program is designed for these particular tools, and there's not very many of them. Okay, I'm going to start out with, what I did first was I took my big brush here and I gave myself a uh, coat of, of medium white. Medium white is just a, a, a white, a little black, a little yellow. Sometimes I add a little bit of red. I'm going to take uh, some kind of green color into this and the the older traditional green is going to be our black and yellow so I'll take a, a little bit of that and I'm going to model that a little bit into the background. I like to, if I'm going to do a fusion technique like this where I'm going to take some French tapestry flowers and some beautiful Norwegian scrolls and move them together, I like to have my background to have what's called modeled or movement in it. And uh, I've been doing a lot of this in the last few years and it's had a, uh, it, a very large uh, number of people have liked it in all different kinds of countries around the world. I've traveled all around the world teaching this into several countries and um, the uh, matter of fact I leave again here uh, day after tomorrow to go teach it again in a different country and um, so I, I start out and I model some stuff around I like to take a little bit of my red and my cooler color which is the red violet and I'll model a little bit of that around into the background I especially like some red violet I love that cool color into the background like this and I'll push that around you know, this is this is more, you know, what we call 21st century type painting. This is an upgrade of the, uh, when I visualize this, uh, I visualize upgrading, you know, Norwegian rose modeling, which is the traditional, uh, you know, uh, painting style of Norway, and some of the Abusson flowers, which is the uh, beautiful painting style of uh, France. And I move these kind of together. So I move some colors in here like this, get some of the background in. Next thing I do is, in rose modeling, you have a, you set up your basic, uh, especially if you're going to do a telemark or so, you set up a basic C stroke. And I'm going to, I'm not mixing, I'm kind of modeling these colors together. I'll mix it to get to some of my uh, green, but then I'll model it. Maybe put a little bit of my reds in here to tone this down. And then I'll establish the first movement of a C scroll here. So I'm going to turn it slightly offside. And I'll put a first movement of a main C scroll here. And uh, let's just do that a uh, little bit more of a knob stroke right up here like that. This is a main, what we call the C, the root C of the design. And I'll build it up inside here a little bit here. And I'll double, I'll double edge it here. So I'll put one up here onto the other side here. And then I'll work on building it a little bit, uh, building the shape of it a little. And we'll put some more colors in here in just a minute. And then sometimes I put on, uh, you know, I come back a different way with a different one. There's a bunch of different ways that, in which the C can go. And uh, I'm going to drop one maybe right up here like this. 
here we'll have a stem coming up here like that off of off of this one you can spin off and go many different directions many different ways here so you can go up like that you can have you can open up your C like this and drop down uh, the little S that will come down so it makes the letter S so we'll drop some of that in there there's a thousand different ways you can do it but when you're going to do the scroll here you have your your choice now you can come right back up over here so I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way so I make the the S right down through my line here I'm just going to drop one right here and drop this right into here right like this so there's all kinds of, I have hundreds literally hundreds of lessons uh, probably you know 40 DVDs on how to paint scrolls and and I love to paint scrolls and uh, scrolls just add, you know different countries use these acanthus scrolls in so many different ways and so I have so many I have a lot of different types of, of, of scrolls there's uh, one here that I'm just going to I'm going to back this up like this and open one up like this so we'll do a little different one today and you'll see this happen sometimes not in the album song, but you see it in the telemark, the more free Norwegian stuff. So I'll open up my scrolls this way. Now what I'm going to do is sketch in a couple of flowers here. So I'm going to come right here in my root area, and I'm going to start, and I'll start to the, paint these just like I do a normal rose uh, into the Avosant style, the French style, or into the Paint It Simply style. And I'll set that rose right here into the the C of the, uh, the, of the scroll, and we'll shadow down here shadow down one side here which is what I like to do and in the uh, in the lessons in the paint and simply lessons we have all different kinds of ways we'll show you all different kinds of ways to paint flowers to visualize the flowers how to set them their movements in I'm going to set another rose uh, let's set one right down here that's going to come right in here that'll set and cover up part of this one since we're going to we're blending two different styles of painting here and I started doing this a couple years ago, blending some different styles of painting, because in the history of, of painting, in the history of rose modeling, they did that. Artists, you know, in all of Norwegian rose modeling, they travel over to Europe, they learn different styles of Baroque and Regency and Louis XIV and XVI, and then they come back to Norway, establish it establish those those elements in their particular style and and give the feeling of Norway to it just like all artists do in all different countries and so um, you know it's a natural progression to sit there and say okay well they're going to do it with these as well so I'm going to add a little bit uh, another little bud one that's going to be one starting out right here and I start with, there's a rule uh, in the painting simply of how we create these flowers. We start with three circles and, and then where we put our cools, where we put our warms and, and develop those. And those are, that'll, that'll, all that information will be found for you in the lessons. And we walk you through very slowly into the lessons. Show that. So that puts that there. Um, I'm going to uh, probably have, and I'll just take a dirty, just dirty this color up a bit. But we'll probably put another little flower up here, one right up here, here like this. We'll drop another little flower somewhere coming right off over here. That'll be pretty. Maybe some flowers here coming off of this side here and off over here. We'll put some flowers that'll come in. Okay, now what we'll do is... Uh, before we get too far here, let's darken some of our scroll. We'll take a little bit of our color here. Let's even add a little red violet to that green here. That helps you travel your color. And we'll, we'll add some of that right into our scroll, some of that nice contrast here. Color right into our scroll. And I just start out on the, the flat of the brush going right to the chisel. But you'll learn more of that. You'll learn exactly how to do all of this stuff within the program. This is just kind of like to show you how fast you can create, you know, some of these paintings. And we wanted to, sh to shoot some different series to show you just how fun and how fast some of this painting can be done. Because people think, oh, it's painting. I can't be an artist. And yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Anybody can paint this. What you have to do is say you can't. 
You know, I I run into so many people today. I, I can't believe it. I run into so many people today that say, you show them something and they say, oh, I could never do that. What has happened to people? What has happened to the thing? I, oh, you know what? It's going to take a little work. It's going to take a little practice. You can do it. I teach this to everyone. You know, uh, some of my students are extremely successful and international teachers and going around and doing all different kinds of stuff, you know. But a good student will never say, oh, I can't do that. I can never do that. I mean, you're you're already saying to yourself, you can't do something. Don't do that. This is easy if you practice. It's going to take practice. Everything takes practice. You know, everything does. So, And there's rules. We're going to give you all kinds of rules and color rules and stroking rules and technique rules and, you know, to help you along the way. So we're going to do all of that with you. So there's a little bit of color into that. Now what I'm going to do is uh, take a, a little bit of our yellow and let's take some warm color here, some red and a little bit of our white. And let's just add a little bit of warm color here into the into our rose here, our main rose. I like to call this the king. There's some there's some beautiful stories about rose mauling and uh, you know, what the scrolls, the Cantha scrolls represent and everything. And you can study all of that. It's just, it's fascinating. And it's very ins inspirational because they all mean different things. I love to study the history. I'm a history, I'm a, I, I love to study history of things. That gives me the idea. If I can get inside the artist's head, I can understand it more. So, and so I'm building this. I'm just going to build the main round part of the rose here. But what I got to do, one reason why I'm going to be doing this rose a little different than some of the others is I've got to incorporate this rose into uh, the the scroll so here it's going to set down into the scroll so instead of coming out with petals that will go against that i'm going to set the petals in so that they curve in here towards the row so this is going to change the look of the tapestry flower and it's going to set it down and incorporate it here inside this scroll so you you know when you're blending styles together like this that's what you got to do let's just restate i took out a little bit too much of that this just restate some of that shadow out there like that. That's kind of pretty. And uh, we'll drop in a little more light. We'll pull some of that down. Yeah, it's uh, there's rules for everything. And there's ways in which we can teach it. This is a beautiful thing about these art forms. These are very teachable art forms. And, uh, you know, I follow a lot of the techniques and uh, that were taught in Europe. And, you know, I believe in those. I build on those. That's how I learned. You know, I'm, not a, I'm not a gifted or I'm not a, an artist per se. I'm a left brain painter. I'm a very logical, analytical painter. So I follow techniques. So one of the things that we do in the, in the Painted Simply is we teach you these techniques. We teach you how to put some of this stuff together. And it's really fun. You just build this rose. But you've got to be able to see the rose to kind of build the rose like this. And that's what we do. That's what we spend a lot of time trying to teach you how to see it. And if you can see it, you can paint it. That's our that's our belief. That's our philosophy there. And all it takes is practice. Don't sit there and say, oh, I can never do that. You know, it's I, I, it's, I can't believe people that just say that. It's, you can. You can, anybody can do anything if you just put your mind to it and you can practice hard enough. We don't get defeated by something. We just do it here. And you let it, each one of us, the beautiful thing about being a, a painter, being an artist, is everyone's going to paint different. You don't try to copy each other. Everyone's going to paint different. You know, so I'll put that rose in there like that. I'm probably going to have a little more light there, but I'm going to step out to some of my other ones here first. And let's just establish a little more light onto them. And put a little more light color. And just kind of, I'm just kind of using my brush, this nice, beautiful, soft brush that is designed specifically to do this. To just kind of draw and, and, and sketch in some of these, these colors. And, and, and I can, uh, the paint, it works so thick and so nice, it just, flows right here into the into the flower it's so heavy bodied that I can draw and I can push and if I want to I can re-establish re a shadow back out you know push stuff around it's it's kind of fun I, I, I kind of push the paint around into the 
the shapes and stuff that I want. Draw it on and push it around. But I'm following very specific guidelines of the rows and stuff and how we paint it in the Paint It Simply. And that's what... Um, that's what you do. And when you study into the Paint Simply, there's, you'll study different styles. We have, you know, tapestry styles and, you know, American stroke style, stroke roses. Uh, you know, there's different styles of flowers that you can paint, and uh, which are a lot of fun. But again, everything, everything takes some practice. Of course, you can't do it the first time. I always tell my students, 25 roses. You get a rose... You, understand, you want to paint a rose that's like this, you have to do it 25 times till you come close because you gotta, you got to put that mechanism of painting it inside your brain. What I always say is, it's like if you're driving to the market, to the supermarket, and I tell this to my students all the time, all the time. If you're driving to the market, the first time you go, you need a map. You don't know all the way to go. And, you know, and you're, you're nervous. And then the more you go, the more you go, the more you go. And then after 20 times, you can go there, listen to the radio, talk to your friend. You know, it, you can go there without even thinking. And that's what happens to these roses. I've painted them so many times. I go there without even thinking. And that's when it becomes casual. That takes practice to put that mechanism, just like driving to the market, it takes practice to put that mechanism into your brain of painting this until you see that rose, just like I see the the way to go to the market. I see it, so I go there all the time. So I see it, I go there. I don't need anybody to tell me anymore. I don't need to watch any more videos for it. I see it, and that's what you've got to do. And so we have, you know, you, you've got to paint it till you can see it, and you got to paint it and paint it and paint it until you can see it and that's what we do so I'll just curve this in I wanted to curve that in just a bit more in there like that there we go just so it matches that flow of the rose and again you'll know that in the program we'll teach you all about that here so I'll set that one in there I'm gonna come back in and lighten up the front of this one here a bit more put on a few a little bit more white into it white and yellow and warm color so this one definitely comes up to the front I definitely want this one as the center of interest rose here so I'm just gonna build that just a bit more here there we go and I can lift out some of that shadow and get that nice stroke movement to it which I like to give to those flowers. Now, if you get out to here, in, in Telemark, you have the, the little roses that are here. Um, and so we'll, we're basically going to paint them, but we're going to uh, follow more of the Telemark feel for it. This is why I call it a fusion. So their small little buds will turn to rose buds here. We're just going to paint those following kind of the Telemark shape here. That and build these the little telemark flowers more into like little rosebuds putting little lighter strokes on them and letting this be just very casual here maybe we'll put one right on in here put a little more red into that here and you can just use your finger to soften any of that around because you want to keep these out here a little softer there like that drop one right in here and you just let some of that strokes and everything very casual movement I love just the color movement here this casual color movement come through get that nice light color sometimes I'll leave them dark sometimes I like this one I'm gonna I'm gonna light them up a little bit here Put some light. And you can see you're just building these are fantasy type flowers. These are not, and it's they're, you know, the Telemark painters, the Norwegian painters paint the, they don't paint structured roses like this. They paint fantasy flowers. And so what I do is I imagine these as like little rosebuds, but more uh, fantasy like little rosebuds. And so um, sometimes I'll go out and I'll give a little petal edge here, like this is a rosebud, something like that. You know, a bud opening up like this. I can put one right out here. And that it just makes like a little fantasy type flower, but it, it fits a little bit closer to the Telemark type flowers too. So it's a it's a what I call a fusion. It's a fusion of the techniques of the two. Here. That one goes 
those out there. Now what we'll do is we'll take some of our yellow green here, beautiful yellow green, and I'll thin it with just a bit of our extender here. If you notice, I don't use, these are acrylics, but I don't use water. I don't use anything. I don't clean my brush. They're a high-grade acrylic. You don't need that. they got so much pigment in it. You don't need to sit there and clean your brush. With the low, older uh, generation um, acrylics that uh, aren't as heavy pigmented, you had to clean your brush all the time to get the, the dirty color out. Otherwise, you will get a muddy color all the time when you paint. You don't have to worry about that with these. doesn't happen. You don't get a muddy color. And uh, I'm going to come through and just start adding some other. Now, that's a little harsh, so I'm just going to stroke it again and let it soften into that background. Just start adding like little calyx, little uh, stroke leaves, little movement here. Get some nice, um, what I call lightening up the design a bit with some movement here. Like this and adding little uh, accent strokes movement strokes here and sometimes I'll move it over to like a little color here to do that and move that through like that soften some of this you can put some put a little bit of white into that softens your colors right away because your background's lighter so a little bit of white will soften some of these colors too here And I just follow some movement, some good rules of movement here. and Drop that one in there, coming a stem of that coming out of there. And just fill in and little, we have lots of videos that talk to you and teach you how to do this. I have books on this, what I, um, a blending of this, what I call the, uh, Casual Telemark. I have a whole book on that that teaches you how to do these types of things and you know add things and like I say you paint fast because you can you know you I've done so much of this so I know where where you're going with it. That's the whole thing. You know it's just to be a beautiful painter you don't have to be a creative person. There's there's mechanisms to, that you follow. That's what I do. There's mechanisms that painters follow rules that painters follow to do things and that's what we you know that's what we what we do so here and that's what our programs do they teach you these rules so but you know real quickly you can paint a pretty little this is a you know a, a, a blend a new generation type of um of uh painting here it's style you know with the uh the rose mauling and the french florals types and and it fusion and it's it's uh fun it is very fun to paint some of these in scrolls and stuff together let's give a little calyx here a little bit of that let's drop one little stem line into there in rose mauling uh they'll do a lot of uh, uh what we call it it's a little across the stem like this so we can add little feelings of this to uh break up like other little things here just break up the design and add so much to it sometimes I will add more uh, traditional shaped leaves that you would find in Aboussant and stuff so you know with some of them I will add that sometimes I add it as the stroke that you will find in the uh, telemark so I do both because it's a nice fusion of the designs it's a beautiful fusion of the designs. Now I'll take a, let's take a little bit of our black and red violet, a little bit of that green, nice darker color. Let's reestablish a nice contrast here into the center of this, coming around like this. So it really helps that um, the uh, center of interest here, where we want to keep your eye. There, that pulls that there. Maybe a little bit out like this. You'll see how to do all of this and understand all of this through our programs. We have lots of programs to help you teach all of this, to help you learn. 
if you want to paint like this. It's fun. It's fast. In 30 minutes, you can create yourself a beautiful little painting. That makes uh, You can do it on boards. We show it on all kinds of boards and plaques. And it's just yeah, fun. They make great gifts. They're... Uh, and, and it's just fun to create something like this. And you can create it freehand, but we have lots, like I said, we have lots and lots of patterns and lots of turn, lots of things to teach you. So there you go. There's a uh, quick little fusion painting, a little 30-minute fusion painting between some French rose styles of tapestry flowers, all soft flowers, and some of the uh, Norwegian rose modeling styles. I hope you enjoyed it. One brush, six colors. Well, we have one base coat brush but one six colors and one brush and um, painting wet on wet and all the prima type technique with the new generation acrylics that are going to stay wet for the entire time. These will stay wet. These will be wet even tomorrow, actually. So um, if you want more information on it, look to paintedsimply.com. That's our website dedicated just to Paint It Simply. Also, all of our products are available on jansenartstore.com. J-A-N-S-E-N -S -E -N, Art store.com you can find us there or jansen art studio or just click the links that you find here in the video channel okay thanks for joining me here today i hope you enjoy it and i hope that you consider giving painting simply a try that's what we want to do we want to keep painting simply and fun and we can create all kinds of beautiful things go see the 350 lessons we have okay i'll look forward to painting with you again here soon at jansen art studio you have a great day and i'll see you later Bye bye